Time to do some more testing on the smeg head. Uh, it's a nicer, calmer day. There's a tiny little bit of wind around, so it should be should be a lot of, uh, smoother flying. Uh, what I've done, I have my normal control uh, elevator on the front and ailerons at the back, and I can switch to uh, pure pure elevons to uh, compare the flight characteristics of the two different methods. I also, in that mode, I also have the uh, elevator on the slider so I can try sort of effectively changing the angle of attack of the canard. Uh, so that'll be interesting. Anyway, first of all, let's just fly it normally and see how it goes. And actually, I'm going to put a camera on the nose to make it a bit more interesting. All right, first of all, normal flying, the way I had it set up first. That's flying nicely. Got it pretty high, high uh, rates and no expo, I think, at the moment, so. It'll be as twitchy as I control it. But that's flying around nicely. Very controllable, very smooth. A bit too twitchy at the moment, probably. Here's a bit of wind. So there's about oh, five to ten knots, I suppose. But that's sort of turning nicely. Sort of wafts a bit occasionally. But I'm liking it. So now I'm going to switch to Elevons. So that's Elevons now. And that doesn't seem a lot different. I was just fiddling with the elevator there, or the canard. Uh, this is quite nice actually. I like the elevon control. It seems a bit calmer than the ailerons with the elevator. Could just be the rates I have on all of these things though of course. But uh, simple elevons is working well. I'm a bit nose heavy, I think, with that camera on the front there. Alright, so down elevator now, and I'll trim the elevator, trim the elevons up a bit. That seems to make it very smooth indeed. Canard up a bit. Oh, sorry, I mean elevator down a bit. That smoothed it down a fair bit I think. So let's try it the other way now. That'll make the nose go down. And that's not good. Definitely better with the canard down at the back. Effectively more angle of attack for the canard. In fact, that's the best setting of the lot. Almost like turning on a stabiliser. That's beautiful. And once you get the uh, elevons trimmed, it's nice.
So in this little test, I think I do like it better just with the other ones. That feels better. Nice and smooth path. Not the way you can sort of cruise along low altitude. It'd be a great FPV plane. This is with a 3003S on now camera on the rear so balances out pretty well still do a loop pretty easily it is uh, a bit tricky with orientation with this thing, if you look away then look back, you automatically think the tail's <laughs> sticking out the front, of course. Nice. Okay, so I think I'm going to change it to just pure Elevons the way it was originally, just for ease of setup and uh, one less servo, easier iNav setup, and it just works nicely. Don't think the elevator actually adds anything to it good fun so you can see the setting that I was happiest with was Elevon setup with the canard uh, full down deflection shows well in the shadow there actually so that's telling me that if you trim if you angle the canard up a little bit more than I had I have I've got it up a tiny bit but even a little bit more than what I had and trim the elevons down a little bit to compensate for the lift for the canard then uh, it sort of stabilizes it out nicely <laughs>